All right, well, this is a video that I have been delaying making for like a year now. It's also unscripted, so pardon the mess. Basically, there's gonna be some pretty major changes to the channel, and I want to be open about them and talk about them with you. And also alongside that, talk about what I think are some issues with kind of this greater YouTube community, not necessarily this channel, and the platform. So, might as well just jump into it. So I have a specific sort of statement I give to people who ask what my channel's about. I say, it's a channel meant for the bedroom producer, content creator, musician, a channel to help them understand how to produce and get great results out of their bedroom. That's why like, I like that there's a bed in the background of my shots. I would never wanna work in this sort of beautiful monument to audio perfection because that's not what people really work in. They work in noisy, unideal environments. Anyways, but if I were to ask you or most people in the community, you guys would say, this is a microphone review channel. And that makes total sense. Look at the videos that I produce, okay? 80% of them are just microphone related content, 90% of them. But do you kind of see how those two messages contradict each other? Teaching you how to make cool stuff with very little gear or highlighting a piece of gear that you can buy. They butt heads a little bit. And that is something that has always bothered me about my channel. How much am I just contributing to lust over gear? and wanting to buy something, and how much have people legitimately learned on how to produce cool stuff. But if you scroll back a little bit, and you go to the very first videos I ever made, you will see the first video is about a MIDI controller um, and songwriting techniques on how to use a MIDI controller to come up with cool creative ideas rather than just as something to control your software. Built really poorly, and that statement makes it sound more professional than it is, but still. The second one was about a synthesizer and how to program cool sounds into it. The third one was a performance, I think. And that fourth one, that fourth one was a microphone review. And those first three videos, the first one I think it got like a month to get 10 views. Second one got about the same. Third one got even worse than that. But that microphone review on the Rode NT1 versus the Rode NT1A is still my fourth most viewed video to date, I think. And that was really cool at the time. As I got a lot more subscribers. Suddenly I had a small base of people that wanted to see what I had to say, but they wanted to see what I had to say about microphones. And I kept feeding that kind of audience as a content creator does. We listen to the almighty algorithm. And as a result, I started carving out this niche, this niche of being a microphone reviewer. And I think because of the success of those early videos, YouTube deemed me a microphone review channel and I deemed me a microphone review channel. I, I perpetuated that content too. Now, I don't want you to think I don't enjoy doing that. The fact of the matter is I'm an audio engineer and a musician and a content creator and a voiceover artist. I'm everything that you guys are too. And I love talking about this gear, but I don't want to just be part of the equation for how you spend your money. I don't want to be part of this kind of like consumerist mindset, the system of buying. And that brings me on to my next point because I, I think there's kind of a crossroads or a fork in the road that the channel's at right now as a small but growing channel. And I see kind of two different paths. And I think a ton of small, specifically tech reviewers find themselves at this junction because one of those paths, one of those forks in the road is really profitable. It is so easy compared to other content on YouTube to monetize gear reviews and in a multitude of different ways. Cause many of you, not to point the blame at the audience, but I think we all have to take a little bit of sort of responsibility for it. We love seeing stuff that we can buy in modern society. So that content does well, but we are so obsessed with figuring out how gear can improve our craft, 
that a marketing machine begins to develop. I have found it is all too easy, especially for small creators, to kind of fall into the hands of the brand, to become part of that marketing machine. Maybe not as directly as an advertisement, but they can become an extension of the brand's marketing. Someone that works for the people building the products more than they work for you. And I hope you can smell it. I hope you can see the reviews that are like this. I hope you can see the reviews that are very glitzy and glamorous and, and present you with this perfect page of a product with no issues. And quite frankly, all the same information that you would find on the product page. And then they present you with this nice clean affiliate link. Now, to be clear, no creator that I have ever affiliated with, collaborated with, or have any communication or connection with are these kinds of people. This is more about the community and the environment that we've created as a whole rather than any one content creator. And I also specifically want to mention that me, for myself, these kinds of videos that I myself have produced in the past directly contradict with the message and the creative goal that I like to think I hold or want to or want to at least project. And also not to mention many of the people at the companies are just as passionate and just as nerdy about audio as you are and as I am. This is not about any individual, any brand. It's about the greater community and and the environment we've created. I already said that but I want to drive that point home because I want you to know that you don't need any of this, that it's cool to talk about and it's important to review. But at the end of the day, what you have probably works. But I think what you've come to expect from this channel is just content that contradicts that message, not intentionally, but it's not creatively fulfilling to just make reviews. Don't get me wrong, I love making reviews, and, and also don't get me wrong, I love this channel. It is, it is definitely one of the best things that has ever happened to me, and it is the best thing that has ever happened to me professionally, period. But I need to be more than a reviewer, and I need to make content that means more, just personally, to be more fulfilled as a, as a creative. So... I'm going to try and do both, and I'll explain what that means. Um, this is Nick. Oh, hey. Ooh. Nick is an insane guitarist. A brilliant songwriter. a budding audio engineer, and most importantly for this scenario, a subscriber. Nick has edited half the videos in December. And I think it's very important that anyone who helps me out here both is part of the community and understands audio. You cannot edit an Audio Haze video without being very knowledgeable about audio related subjects. And also, none of you guys noticed, didn't get a single comment about it. He's very good at mimicking my style of editing. Throughout this year, every single week, we will have gear related videos. So Nick will be editing every week, one gear review. I will be scripting it, I will be shooting it, I will still be doing all the testing, and I will also approve it and publish it. But Nick will be editing them. So that's not gonna change. You will actually have more of the same content every week you will have a gear review. But at the same time of doing that, I will be shooting, editing, scripting, researching, building these passion projects. Projects that aren't directly related to the core audience that we've developed on the channel. Projects that reach further and projects that I am going to pour my soul into. Sometime between this, regular audio haze videos and a full-time job, I'll, I'll try and sleep. But we're gonna explore some topics that are just a little bit farther out there for the channel. Things like 
proven techniques from famous audio engineers and producers that we can mimic in our bedrooms, breaking down the songwriting and production project behind famous songs or albums or bands, many documentaries about the histories of productions and songwriting from famous artists, music and psychology, hopefully tours and, and little mini series on famous studios. I hope I can get that to happen. The point I'm trying to make here is I'm gonna dive full into the content that I want to produce, whether it's healthy for the channel or not. And the reason I'm telling you this is because I want you to watch it. Historically speaking, these kinds of videos, no matter if it is just off topic and is low effort, or if I'm pouring weeks and weeks more work into them than a normal video, historically they don't do as well because they're not part of the niche that I've built for myself. And I hope that you could just give those videos a chance more than anything. That would be awesome. And I just also wanted to explain to you and, and, and tell you where my thought process was to be open with the people that have helped me build something that is just so amazing. I can't thank you enough for where we are now. And hopefully you'll be there with me as we explore some things that are just a little bit different. Because it's scary, you know? Um, these kinds of things, if left to their own devices, can spell danger for a channel. It's risky territory. Um, so, to wrap it all up, the good news is you're just going to be getting more content from here. And I wanted to tell you why. And I guess the, the not bad news, but different news is, yeah, I just got, I got to try something different. I got to try something that fulfills what I want this channel to fulfill. I don't want this channel to just be part of that machine for buying things. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Hopefully you stick around. Um, this is scary, dude. This is scary making these kinds of videos. It's scary not having a script. Keep looking down at my phone, looking for the words I have to say, but nothing's <clears throat> nothing's there. Um, so, anyways, happy uh, happy New Year's from us, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Right, boy. Don't eat that.